Presidential candidate Ron Paul has been called anti-immigration. Is that true? Immigration. You want a 700-mile fence between our border and Mexico? Not really. There was an immigration bill that had a fence in it, but there was um, to attack amnesty. I don't like amnesty. So I voted for that bill to stop the amnesty, but I didn't like the fence. I don't think the fence can solve a problem. I find it what, rather offensive. What should we do? Get rid of the subsidies. You subsidize illegal immigration, you get more of it. Get we, rid of welfare. Get rid of all free the welfare benefits. Health care for absolutely. So if someone's illegal and they show up at the hospital and they're injured, the hospital should do what? Be charitable and have no mandates by the federal government. Catholics want to take care of their offering to help a lot of these people. We want to punish them in some of these, you know, reform bills. I'm not for that. Um, but we wouldn't have so many there if they didn't know they were going to get amnesty. You promise them amnesty, promise them that no sweat, you can get medical care and free education, automatic citizenship, uh, food stamps, and uh, social security, you're going to get more of it. But I want a free and healthy, thriving economy, and I think we could be much more generous with our immigration. We don't need illegal immigration. We don't need to reward people who get in front of the line. I want people but a legal do, line should be more generous. I do. I really think we would be. I think, I think it would be a non-issue. Today it's a big issue because people are hurting. They can't keep up with paying their bills. When they see people in the line using food stamps, they'll be in the emergency rooms, they'll demand bilingual education in the schools, and the costs are going up, school taxes go up. Just get rid of all those programs. I Everyone. would. I would. I, I think get rid of the incentives and work toward a real, a real solution, which means that uh, you do it legally and you have a healthy economy and we would have probably a lot of people coming back and forth working in this country. There was a time when we had uh, just workers coming back and forth. That was when they didn't expect to get easy amnesty. And you want to get rid of the birthright law that says that an illegal immigrant who gives birth in America, the child is a U.S. citizen. Yes, I think there's confusion on interpreting the 14th Amendment. It, it says that if uh, you're under the jurisdiction of the United States, you have a right to citizenship if you're born here. All right, so you say this is good, but that's in there. Uh, yes, but it's a little bit confusing. If you if you step over the border and you're illegal, are you really under the jurisdiction? There's a question on that, and I want to clarify it. What about the millions who are here illegally already? Deport them? I, I don't think anybody could find them. I don't think anybody knows where they are. I, I don't think if you had a million-man army, I don't. Nobody even knows how many there are. But if they come for welfare benefits and you know they're illegal, yes, uh, deny them the benefits and uh, they commit a crime, send them home when you know they're there. Today, in many cities, you're not even allowed to ask them their uh, immigrant status. You know, they might be on the form. A policeman told me, don't ask that question. They were told they can't ask that question to find out if they're illegal. And they've been breaking the law. They're arrested. But it's, it's uh, politically incorrect to ask a person uh, their immigrant status because uh, that would say, well, if you're breaking the law, maybe you ought to go home.